Thank you. Live pictures right now from Port Canaveral. It is dark and it looks a little quiet out there, but we're tracking some storms moving across our area, and it's all because of Tropical Storm Mindy. Fox 35 Storm Team Meteorologist Allison Gargaro joins us now. All right, Allison, interesting because I have a friend who just got to Panama City Beach. They got there Sunday. Looks great. Uh, Today, they have a tropical storm. Yeah, yeah. That escalated quickly, didn't it? It did. I mean, Luann and I were talking at 4:54. Tropical storm, and just now like it that. made landfall just an hour ago, and we're going to continue to track some effects right here in East Central Florida over the next few days. But you can see that center of circulation is right near Apalachicola right now, and it's going to continue to make its way up through the Panhandle into North Florida and then Southeast Georgia. But we are seeing some of that moisture right here in East Central Florida. A lot of rain falling a little bit earlier today. New Smyrna Beach still going to to be looking at that shower activity all the way down through Rockledge. But I do want to mention most of the lightning strikes have made their way offshore, so that's good news. Things are starting to calm and quiet down as we head into the overnight hours tonight. But this line right here just to the west of the I-75 corridor is directly from Mindy, but it does look like it is losing a bit of steam, like I mentioned, as it continues to push east, but something that we will continue to watch for you right here in the Fox 35 Storm Center. So. You may have thought that you saw a lot of rain today. Well, you were probably right, especially in Osceola County. Lake Toho seen more than six inches of rain, more than three inches in Altamont Springs, just shy of two and a half out of Port St. John and almost three and a half in Deltona. So a lot of rain falling in a short amount of time and much more is expected over the next few days. But not only did we see the rain, but also the lightning. This is from Rachel out at Palm Coast. Take a look at that. Very impressive that you could even get a shot of the lightning. I can never do that, but we love to see it. Make sure that you are staying safe when you do get those pictures, but share it with us on social media. You can find me Allison Gargaro Fox 35 on Twitter and or Facebook also on Instagram. But let's take a look at some future clouds and rain. We're going to be seeing just some light showers continuing like I mentioned across the peninsula tonight, but it doesn't look like they're going to be packing much of a punch. Then we're going to be seeing some impacts uh, from Mindy early starting at 915 tomorrow morning through north central Florida and then that line of storms making their way across the Orlando Metro and south right around three Three, four o'clock in the evening. It looks like a lot of those showers will be clearing out a lot earlier than what we saw today. But Mindy still holding on to 45 mile per hour sustained winds and it will be losing some intensity as it makes its way over land and into the Gulf. So tomorrow we are going to be tracking the chance for widespread showers and thunderstorms, but it looks like most of them will be staying non severe. Then we do have Larry still a category two hurricane with 105 mile per hour winds. There it is there. We're going to be seeing an increase in swell up to 10 feet. That's going to be very, very large across all of our area beaches. So good for surfers, but not good for beach goers. All of these these counties that are shaded in blue on your screen will have a high risk for rip currents that continues through at least Friday. So we just want to make sure everybody is staying safe as we head throughout the next several days. If you are planning on swimming in the water, make sure that you do so near a lifeguard stand. Then we have one other system with a 40% chance for development within the next five days, making its way off the west coast of Africa. So moving well far away from us here in central Florida. But hey, we're getting closer to the peak of hurricane season. Here's your seven day forecast. Rain chances stay elevated through at least Saturday, all thanks to Tropical Storm Mindy. Well, if you thought